Today's lesson is about author's purpose. Our learning objective is I can identify the author's purpose for writing a text. Author's purpose is why the author wrote the text or the reason for writing a text. We are going to use a helpful acronym so that identifying the author's purpose is as easy as pie. Pie is spelled P-I-E. P is for persuade. I is for inform. And E is for entertain. P-I-E. Let's start with persuade. Persuade is when the author is trying to get the reader to do or believe something. Here's some examples. This is an ad for Burger King. It wants you to buy a Whopper sandwich and get another one. Mix and match two of them for $5. Here is a billboard ad for some halos. The billboard is getting you to want to buy some halo oranges. This is an example of a movie review or a book review. Only this review is for a yoga mat. Notice the five stars. These are all left by different people that are wanting you to buy the same yoga mat as them. This is an opinion paper written by two different children. The question is, should kids get paid to do chores? The boy on the left says yes, and the girl on the right says no. They are giving their opinions to persuade you or the reader to agree with them. Here is a book called Be a Friend to Trees. And here's another book called Why Should I Recycle? Both of these books are trying to persuade you to do something. Here are all the examples of persuasion. Next on our list is I for inform. Inform means the author is giving the reader information or teaching facts. The author can do this in various forms, such as TV and movies, that are documentaries and nonfiction TV shows that can inform viewers about a topic. Do you know what this topic is about? It's about lions. Recipes or how-to books can also be considered informative books. Biographies and books about people are also books that inform us. This is a newspaper newspapers and magazines also inform us about topics. And there's also nonfiction books about specific topics like volcanoes. This is a children's book of science experiments. It is also an informative book. These are all the different types of informing that an author can choose to do. And now we are at E for entertain. This means that the author wants the reader to enjoy the story. Some examples include stories, such as Gaston, riddles and jokes, movies and TV shows, fantasy and magical stories, fiction books, mysteries, and comics, such as Dogman. Let's review. The author's purpose is the reason for writing or creating a text. The purpose can be to persuade and get the reader to do or believe something. It can be to inform and teach about a topic. Or the purpose can be to entertain the reader with a story. If you forget, just think about PIE. P-I-E. Persuade. Inform. Entertain.
Now on to our homework for today. Show what you remember from the video by coloring the piece of pie that matches the author's purpose. Color P for persuade, color I for inform, and color E for entertain. I will do the first set with you. So here we have the customer reviews. Remember, I talked about how this was wanting you to buy a yoga mat. Now, is this to persuade, inform, or entertain? You're right, that one's to persuade. Good job. Next up, we have the story about Katherine Johnson and how she saved Apollo 13. This one is a biography. Do you remember what a biography's job is? Yep, that one's to inform. Good job, you are so smart. Here's a story called Last Stop on Market Street. This looks like it's going to be kind of a fun story. What do you think? Is this to persuade, inform, or entertain? You're right, that one is entertain. Good job. Now it's your turn. You will have three that are persuade, three that are inform, and three that are entertain. They will be mixed up, so do your best. Thanks for watching.